Good day everyone! I'm Teacher Ken, your mathematics teacher for today. Mathematics equation? Math problems? Don't you worry, because I will teach you the enjoyable and easiest way. Because I can, you can, we can with Teacher Ken! Before we start, make sure that you have your module with you. Can you subtract or add simple fractions? How about solving word problem involving fractions? Yes, you can with Teacher Ken. In this module, you will be able to learn about adding and subtracting simple fractions and mix numbers without or with regrouping. It will also help you to follow a few simple steps to solve different activities. To have a brief introduction, open your module on page 4. Read the directions carefully. I will give you 15 minutes to answer the questions on page 4 of the module. Write your answer on the provided answer sheet. If you got all the correct answers, you may decide to skip this module. But still, I encourage you to continue answering all the other activities. What's in? To help you link the current lesson from the previous one, open your module on page 4 for a brief review. For letter A, add and subtract the following fractions. After answering, proceed to the activity on letter B. Solve the following problem. Write your answer on the provided answer sheet. What's new? Let us sing a song entitled, Adding a Subtracting Fraction Song. For your reference, use the provided link on your module. All denominators must be the same. All denominators must be the same. To add or subtract fractions. To add or subtract fractions. All denominators must be the same. All denominators must be the same. To add or subtract fractions. To add or subtract fractions. Unlike fractions have different denominators Let's make them the same denominators First, you write out all of their multiples Then, you pick out least common multiples Change all denominators to the least common multiple And whatever you times the bottom number by You have to times the top number by two All denominators must be the same All denominators must be the same to add or subtract fractions to add or subtract fractions all denominators must be the same all denominators must be the same to add or subtract fractions to add or subtract fractions now take your new fractions with the same denominators denominators then you add or subtract your numerators numerators your denominator you just move over because it stays the same then reduce to simplest form then reduce to simplest form all denominators must be the same all denominators must be the same to add or subtract fractions to add or subtract fractions all denominators must be the same all denominators must be the same to add or subtract fractions to add or subtract fractions what is it this section provides a brief discussion of the lesson this aims to help you discover and understand new concepts and skills. What are we waiting for? Let's start our discussion. Open your module on page 7. Just like counting numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on, fractions can also be added and subtracted. When we are counting improper fractions and mixed numbers, we are counting the numbers by groups and parts. Take note that the rules for adding and subtracting improper fractions are the same as working with proper fractions. Case number one. Adding and subtracting with common denominators. Here are the three simple steps. Step number one. Keep the denominators the same. Step number two. Add or subtract the numerators. Step number three. 
If the answer is in a proper fraction, reduce the fraction into a mixed number. Let us have the exercise number 1 as an example. Add the fractions 5 fourths and 6 fourths. Let's draw a picture to see what this looks like. The 4 in the denominator tells us that each whole is cut into 4 equal portions. By adding the fractions, we are grouping the total number of holes and parts. We have 5 slices and each hole is made up of 4 slices and that is 5 fourths. We have 6 slices and each hole is made up of 4 slices and that is 6 fourths. Altogether, we have 2 holes and 3 quarters or 2 and 3 fourths. So it means 5 fourths plus 6 fourths is equal to 2 and 3 fourths. How does the math work? Step number 1. Since the two fractions have equal size slices, keep the denominator the same. What are our common denominator? Very good! The common denominator is 4. Step number 2. Add the numerators. What are our numerators? 5 and 6. Now let us add 5 and 6. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Thus, we have holes, 11 fourths. Step number 4. Simplify your answer. 11 fourths is an improper fraction. Let us change improper fraction into mixed number. 11 fourths is equal to 2 and 3 fourths. 5 fourths plus 6 fourths is equal to 2 and 3 fourths. Case number 2. Adding and subtracting mixed numbers with different denominators. Here are the steps. Step number 1. Add or subtract the whole number part. Step number 2. Check. Does the fraction part share a common denominator? If not, find one. Step number three. When necessary, create equivalent fractions. Step number four. Add or subtract the numerators of the fraction part and keep the denominators the same. Step number five. If the answer is in a proper fraction, reduce the fraction into a mixed number. Let us have the exercise number two as an example. Jessica is 19 and a half years old today. How old was she 2 and 1 fourth years ago? Since we are looking at the difference between her current and past ages, our equation will look like 19 and 1 half minus 2 and 1 fourth. Step number 1. Subtract the whole number part. 19 minus 2 is equal to 17 wholes. Step number 2. List the multiples of 2 and 4. The multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. The least common multiple between 2 and 4 is 4. Step number 3. Divide the denominator to the denominator and then multiply to the numerator. 4 divided by 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And then, copy the denominator 4. Now, they have common denominator. We can now proceed in subtracting the fractions. 19 minus 2 is equal to 17. Let us subtract the numerator. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And then copy the common denominator, which is 4. So 19 and 2 fourths minus 2 and 1 fourth is equal to 17 and 1 fourth. Let us solve another example. Exercise number 3. Subtract the fractions 3 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourths. Step number 1. Subtracting the whole number part. We get 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 wholes. Step number 2. Subtracting the fraction part. 
we get 1 minus 3 is equal to what part of a whole? Since we cannot take 3 away from 1, we need to borrow a whole from the first fraction. Given 3 and 1 fourth, let's borrow a whole by following the steps below. Rewrite 3 holes into holes plus 1 whole. Since each hole has 4 slices, add the 4 slices from the borrowed hole into the numerator of the fraction part. Thus, we have the created an equivalent fraction where 3 and 1 fourth is equal to 2 and 5 fourths. Step number 3. Now, we are able to subtract the fractions 2 and 5 fourths minus 1 and 3 fourths. Subtracting the whole number part, we are left with 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 whole. Subtracting the fraction part, we are left with 5 fourths minus 3 fourths is equal to 2 fourths. To simplify the fraction, 2 fourths is equal to 1 half of a whole. Combining our whole number and fraction parts, we are left with 1 whole and 1 half or 1 and 1 half. We are already done in adding and subtracting fractions. Now, let us proceed in solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions using appropriate problem solving and strategies and tools. Here are the steps in solving board problem. Step number one, understand it comprises two questions. What is asked in the given problem and what are the given facts? Step number two, we have to plan. What operations can be used to solve the problem? And then last step, solve. We can now proceed in solving the problem. Again, the three steps in solving word problem are Step number one, understand. Step number two, plan. And then step number three, solve. For example, Lisa has one and one fourth kilograms of beef and 3 and 1 half kilograms of chicken in her refrigerator. How many kilograms of meat does she have in her refrigerator? Step number 1. Understand what is asked in the given problem. The number of kilograms of meat she has in her refrigerator. What are the given facts? 1 and 1 fourth kilograms of beef and 3 and 1 half kilograms of chicken. Step number 2. Plan. What operation can be used to solve the problem? We can add the two mixed fractions. Step number 3. Solve. 1 and 1 fourth kilograms of beef plus 3 and 1 half kilograms of chicken. Since the two fractions are dissimilar fractions, we have to find the least common denominator. The least common denominator of 4 and 2 is very good. 4. Now, let us proceed in adding the whole numbers. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Next, add the numerator. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And then copy the common denominator. The common denominator is 4. Simplify the answer if needed. 4 and 3 fourths. Therefore, the total kilogram of meat she has in her refrigerator is 4 and 3 fourths. Wait! There's more! <laughs> What's more? To solidify your understanding and skills of the topic, answer the activity on page 11 to 12. It comprises independent activities and dependent assessments. What I have learned Open your module on page 13 and let us recall the steps in adding and subtracting fractions as well as the steps in solving word problem. Read it carefully and don't forget to write the things to remember on your study notes. What I can do To help you transfer the new knowledge or skill into real-life situations, open your module on page 13, read each problem, and solve. Express your answer in simplest form, if applicable. Assessment 
to evaluate your level of mastery in achieving the learning competency, open your module on page 14. For letter A, find the sum or difference, simplify your answer if needed. For letter B, solve the given problem. The additional activities is to enrich your knowledge or skill of the lesson learned, answer the activity on page 14. Congratulations! You have successfully finished the module 1. Again, I'm Teacher Ken. When it comes to math, I can, you can, we can with Teacher Ken!